Well, for more on this, we're joined now by Bjorn Brenner, a lecturer at the Swedish Defence University and author of the book Gaza Under Hamas. Bjorn, so good to see you. So much to unpack here. This is a significant shift for Hamas. What is motivating this change and why is it happening now? Well, I don't think we should uh, directly see this as a sincere interest on part of Hamas to reconcile with Fatah. This should be seen in the light of the situation in Gaza now. The problematic, very difficult humanitarian situation where the inhabitants of Gaza only have electricity for four hours a day. And Hamas needs to resolve this. And they understand or they feel that, that their situation, uh, their position is a bit shaky. They need to resolve this. And the only way out to do this is to appease the demands of Egypt. So what Hamas is, is doing now, Hamas is actions is, is, is what is dictated by, by Egypt. You mentioned there that uh, perhaps they're questioning that genuine intention of Hamas. What about the public perception of Hamas? I mean, we mentioned or we heard from Denise's story there, six hours of power a day in the Gaza Strip. Is it those sorts of, of things that are, that are driving this? Yes, and many Gazans, they say that, uh, well, many Hamas leaders, they uh, are sitting with the air conditions on uh, and all day long. And uh, there are electricity in the tunnels that Hamas is, is building to protect Gaza and, and, and so on. So there is a discontent with Hamas. And, and, and the Gazans, are, are, even though Hamas is completely in, in control of Gaza, Gazans are... Um, increasingly critical about Hamas. What's particularly interesting here is the role of Egypt. It's been complicit in Israel's blockade of Gaza. It's an ally of Israel, but is also facilitating this reconciliation. Why is it pushing for this reconciliation, do you think? I think uh, Egypt has a certain, um, has certain strategic interests in this. And, and, and to Egypt, most of all, they're interested in the security aspect. Egypt want to secure the border between Gaza and, and Egypt, the Gaza and Sinai. And they have certain demands on Hamas to, to do this. One is that Hamas should hand over certain individuals in Gaza, another individual extremists in Gaza. And another demand is for, for Hamas to, to control better what's passing under the border, so to say, in, in the, the, the tunnels that remain. So there are many interests on part on, of Egypt to control what's going on in, in Gaza. And uh, to some extent, more influence by the Palestinian Authority from Ramallah in Gaza would, would help Egypt to, to control better what's going on there. Just finally, how do you think the Palestinian people will react to this news, not just in the Gaza Strip, but also in the occupied West Bank? Yes, I, I don't think very many Palestinians are very positive or, or, or believe that something will come out of this, really. It's all seen by the Palestinian, but also by, by most of, of us analysts, as a continuing maneuvering on part of Hamas to, to get the best out of the, the situation. So not, not a very, uh, very positive uh, uh, very much positive expectations from anyone.